In March last year, law enforcement went to serve what they called a simple eviction to 34-year-old Ronald Aker. They found him sitting on his couch. Newly released body camera video shows moments leading up to when they shot him 15 times because they believe he had a weapon. We've edited the video to eliminate too much violence, but we warn, want to warn some of you that you may find this difficult. So what are we gonna do? This is body camera video from Spokane Police Officer Scott Heiss. You can hear him, a few other officers, and Spokane County Sheriff's deputies explaining to the suspect, Ronald Aker, they are there to evict him. Aker is sitting on a couch in the back of the apartment. In front of him is another couch that's been propped up as a barricade. Any medications or anything like that? He continues to ignore officers' commands. Then he begins to reach for something under the blanket next to him. If he's not going to show us our hands at this point, guys, I think we probably better go hands on. Watch, 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 watch. He's got a rifle. Back out, back out, back out, back out, rifle. Initial reports indicated police believed Aker had a weapon. This video and the investigation confirms he had a rifle hidden under the blanket. Officers could see the scope on the rifle, and that's when Deputy Sam Palmer and Officer Heiss started shooting. The rifle had a malfunction in trying to feed two rounds into the chamber at the time. The suspect was shot at 15 times and suffered six injuries. Captain Brad Arliss says police later found videos on the suspect's cell phone of him attaching a hammer to the butt of the rifle. They also found four 30-06 rounds loaded in the rifle, each with writing on them. Reports say deputies did fear things would get hostile because they knew the suspect made previous threats to other tenants and had a history of mental illness. That's why Spokane police were called for backup along with a mental health professional. But residents in nearby units were not asked to leave the area. While they anticipated that there might be some issues with this individual based on his behavior, there was nothing to suggest that he was going to raise it to that level of violence. Watch, 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 watch. He's got a rifle. Back out, back out, back out, back Based out. on these circumstances, the prosecutor's office ruled Deputy Palmer and Officer Heiss were justified in using deadly force. Now, Akert did have surgery after the incident and survived. He is charged with three counts of assault and waiting trial. Amanda Rowley, Crumb 2 News.